Hello Covers and welcome to another great episode of Clark's Cove Detecting and yep. today is Saturday and me and Melissa just out driving around doing some scouting see what we can uh, scout out and uh, we're about an hour from the house in a direction we haven't went before and we're here at a little tot lot that we have come across and we're just going to get out and swing the tot lot and see what we can find and if we get on anything good uh, we'll let you know about it so we will see you on that first good cover signal and we have our first dime in this tot lot covers I think this stuff is new down and the felt under there is quite new and I think they covered up all the good targets and we will not uh, cut through the felt so we're just gonna have to kind of look for these really surfacey finds but we're on anything else we'll let you know thanks covers nickel each awesome covers and we'll take it all day long you know you lose it huh. that's what we're here for to find it and that's what we're going to do and we'll see you on the next good cover find that one's for you Pat the Rat Pack Tribute Show. Alrighty, Covers. Well, that little tot lot didn't turn out much at all. I got a dime and a nickel out of there. So, I got um, a dime and a penny. We're still scouting today. That's what this uh, whole trip was today. Road trip was just get out and scout places. So we're driving down the road and come across this little roadside park right here. Right on the river. And you can see uh, a big barge see if I can zoom in on him. Got a big crane on there. Yeah, right there he is. Moving down the river. So we're going to get geared up. We're going to get out here and swing around this little park here. It's Like I said, it's not very big. Just a little roadside pull-off. But there's some benches and a picnic table and a swing and you never know. Hey, people get out here and lose stuff. and It could be promising. And we're going to find it. Yes, we are. So we'll be back with you if we find anything. See, See you, covers. covers. Good afternoon, Covers. We're out scouting today, finding new places to hunt. We're here along the river on this beautiful day. But now the reason I have you here with us is I have found myself a dime. I think it is 1993, but that's okay. It's 10 cents that I never had before. I'm happy to have it. Let's see what we can find next, Covers. We'll see at that next good cover signal. Alrighty, Covers, and welcome back. And uh, Melissa's working right over here. And uh, we're here at this little uh, roadside park we just stopped at. And I was on an 89, 88, 89 signal. And check this out, Covers. I'm going to set you all up here. Check it out. We have a little Cub Scout or Boy Scout badge of some sort and it says bear on it. I'm going to get a little bit of water out here and clean it up. See if we can get a little bit better look at it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give it a little scrubbing here on the pants. Yeah, there it is. Awesome covers. Very, very nice. That just made the day. Off to that next good cover find. Hey Covers, I'm back at you. Just found that dime just a couple minutes ago and had a quarter signal, so I thought that's what I was getting. And this come up out of the ground. Have no earthly idea what this little thing could be. I'm going to call it one of Swifties. Watch a hoosies for Watch a Hoosie Wednesday. We'll see you at that next good Cover finds. Welcome back, Covers, and uh, we were coming along here getting a 9091 signal and uh, come across that. 
and I thought there for a minute, well, it's, you know, it's a knob, but it doesn't have no place on the back where it would have been connected to anything, so I have no clue. So if you all know or have any idea what that could be, leave it in the comments below. We would appreciate it. Otherwise, we're calling that a Swifty watch a -hoosie. On to the next good cover signal, Covers. Alrighty, Covers, and welcome back. And uh, we had changed locations, and we're at this little school uh, tot lot. And the sign said, play at your own risk. Uh, open to community. So uh, we come in, and they've put new mulch down here. And so you can see I've got a hole and a half. But guess what I just found? My favorite quarter to find. A bicentennial. Way to go, Robert. It's been a great day. We've enjoyed just jumping around park to park and scouting out new areas. And we've got a couple other places we've scouted out that we're going to have to wait to go back to. But we're going to go back to them. And uh, we hope you all have enjoyed this video. And keep enjoying it. And we'll be back with you all on that next Good Cover Signal. Okay, Covers. Robert and I have changed locations. We've come to this little tot lot here, playground at the school. My first good signal is this right here. Looky here. A quarter. It's a steady. I'm happy to have it. We'll see you at the next good cover find. Okay, Covers, we're still here at this little school playground here, and look what Melissa got. She had a 70-71 signal on her Garrett AT Pro, and she has found a token. It says no cash value. And then on the other side, let me get it here. Spare time. Recreation, Ironton, Ohio. So that sort of gives you an idea about where us covers are at today. Out scouting. And look what I scouted out. Yippee! I'm so happy to have it. Is this my first token, Robert? No. Okay. But I haven't found but maybe a couple of tokens in my time. So yippee for me. See you at the no, you next good signal. Righty covers, and we we're walking right down along behind this tot lot. Melissa's right down there. I was coming up through here getting a 65, 66, 67 signal. It was holding pretty good. I'm gonna set you all up. We've got something right here. Oh yeah. And what do we have? Some kind of little, yeah, it says Donna Karen, New York, circa 1989. And then it has DKNY in the middle. Donna Karen. I wonder what that is. We will have to do some research on that, Covers, and, uh, let you know back at the shop and on the wrap up and uh heck we'll see you all on that next good cover find all righty covers and welcome back and we are back at the shop back at the cove and uh we've done got cleaned up and a bite to eat and ready to do this wrap up for you guys so let's jump right into it we're not going to take up any more of your time uh, of course for me you know we always start out with the big piles of junk and that's not all the trash we did because when we're at these parks there's garbage cans around we utilize the garbage cans and throw our trash away and then what stuff we end up with at the end of the day we bring home and dispose of ourselves uh, did have a flattened out hood to a toy and it says Z71 on it so that's been to a Chevy pickup truck or something uh, in Clad today, I had a uh, dollar seventy-five in quarters. I had ten cents in nickels, thirty cents in dimes, and thirteen cents in pennies. Uh, wasn't a really big Clad day, you know. We were just out scouting around today, checking out new spots and looking for new places to hunt, and that was just 
We put in what, Melissa? Maybe two and a half hours hunting altogether, altogether that day. Yes. Because we did a lot of driving. Uh, then I did have my favorite quarter to find, and that is a bicentennial. And I found that in that last hot lot we were in. That was a cool find. Uh, I found this, I'd have to say, is probably my best find. I found that in the little roadside park, and that is a little uh, Boy Scout bear badge. Really cool find. I love that. And then there at that last hot lot we were at, I found this. Didn't know what it was, and it says Donna Karen, New York, uh, 1989. And that is off of some very expensive handbag <laughs> that we looked up. So nice find there. And that wraps it. Well, no. Oh, sorry. Forgot about this mystery item. Watch a hoozy. First, I thought this was a, a old knob. outside knob for a spigot, but I turned it over and it doesn't have any place it was attached and it does have writing on it right there and I cannot make it out, have no clue what it is. The last right here looks like a P, but it is so rusted. But I don't know what that thing is, so if anyone would maybe have a clue of what that could be, please drop it in the comment down below. <laughs> and we would appreciate it. Off to Melissa. Uh, of course, she had a dollar and quarters, a nickel, two dimes, and uh, six cents in pennies. She had this little odd piece. We thought actually that could have been a piece to a uh, smoking pipe or something, but honestly upon cleaning it up, we don't know what it is. So if another watch a hoozy of Swifties, so if anyone would have any clue or idea what that could be, let us know. And Melissa's best find of the day was her token. Let's see if I can zoom in on it right there. Spare time, recreation, Ironton, Ohio. And on the other side just says no cash value so nice token we love finding the tokens and uh <clears throat> sorry about that covers and non-covers prospects and pledges uh if you're all just stopping by the channel for the first time always remember to hit that like button hit the subscribe button and leave a comment we'll get back to you we always love hearing from you guys we can't stress that enough and uh we want to thank you for joining us here at the cove on our adventures and uh, we're going to be bringing some new adventures to you all here real soon we got yep. all kinds of stuff we're some goodies we're trying to get we're slow at it just bear with us and we will get you all that stuff we're talking about out to you so once again always remember if you're all out there and you're walking around through the parks or playgrounds and tot lots and your kids are out there playing and they lose something and you can't find it Clark's Cove's going to find it. That's who's going to find it. Not you guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We love you all. S stay safe out there. Take care and happy hunting.